Now we're going to look at a drop down menu that we can use inside of a mobile website. This is also going to require a little bit of JavaScript, but you can see our basic navigation that we have set up here. With a div with an ID of nav wrap, this is going to wrap up our navigation. It includes a div for our menu icon, and it includes an unordered list for our nav. Now we've got some CSS up above which is going to hide our nav, but display our menu icon, and it's going to provide some basic styling. You can see an example of this here. We won't go into the CSS specific for this, but what we want to do is we want to make our nav appear or to slide down whenever someone clicks on our menu. We've already loaded up jQuery, so now we're just going to add a simple script to handle the click event. We create a selector for our menu icon, we're going to create an on event handler. We're going to listen for the click event and provide a function for when it occurs. Inside our function, we want to slide our menu up or down. So we'll simply use a selector to select our navigation element, then specify slide toggle. Go back to our browser, reload, and if we were to click on our menu or touch if we were on a mobile site, you can see it slides down if it's not visible. And if it is visible, it's going to simply slide back up. Very simple, allows you to style around it. In CSS, we add these three bars. This is a fairly standard thing to see for a menu item inside of a mobile website. We're seeing this both in mobile websites and mobile apps, and it's becoming well known. If you're afraid that people may not recognize the three bars, you can always include a menu off to the right hand side or some other location to provide some additional contextual help for them to find the menu so they know where to tap to expose it. Because this is a regular unordered list that you simply styled, we can simply use regular links to click on it so there's no JavaScript necessary when the links are used as part of that menu item. If you found this video tutorial helpful, please like and share it with others. If you want to keep up with other videos that are coming out, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. That way you can get the most up-to-date information.